Let's start off with the infinite XP glitch. The first method, this right here can be done early game and I highly recommend it if you just need a way of leveling up. Some of you might be thinking, well, can't you just edit your settings and get better XP that way? Sure, you absolutely can do it that way and complete a few things, but let's say that you're on a dedicated server. This right here can come in handy. What we'll need to do is head over towards our base or a home, camp, whichever word you prefer. We are going to then grab the foundation and place it down. Just note that you do not need to create a specific foundation. Any foundation will work as well as with any wall. We are going to build three across, like so. Now that we have three, we then want to build a wall. We are going to build one wall on each of the three foundations, like so. If you need the material for this, it shouldn't be hard because there is plenty of wood and rocks and all that good stuff nearby. We are going to then place down a roof right on top. What can happen right here is that it may be a little finicky because right now it is early access, so some things just do not line up properly. If this is the case, you can actually manipulate it by placing a floor on the bottom and then placing one at the top and then, you know, just kind of manipulating a bit. If that does not work the first time, try doing that. Then from here, you're going to notice that the stairs do not want to be placed down either. This is where things can also become quite tedious. What we're going to do here is actually place down a certain object, like another foundation, and we'll place down another foundation. Then from there, go to the top of the foundation, and we are going to then place down some stairs. But you may need to place it down at the bottom, and then place one at the very top, like so. Now, sometimes you may not need to build a foundation, like so, and then build the stairs. There are times where you can actually just place the stairs at the top of the roof there. But once you have everything together, just go ahead and disassemble everything. Once you have pretty much destroyed everything in your site, we are going to then grab a wall. You can use wood, you can use stone, but what I would prefer is something with a lot of material. We then want to move the wall around so that we can find a point where it just sticks and it shows that it can be placed, but in fact it will not be placed. Instead, what it will do is give you a bunch of XP each time that you place one down, and it will also drop the material down on the ground, and you can then grab that material and throw it into your chest. This is what I recommend, and you can just sit here all day AFK if you would like, but make sure that you have a bunch of stone if you're going to be AFKing. This right here can yield you a lot of XP, and you can definitely level up quite fast. Again, some of you might be thinking, well, can't you just go into your own world and do this? Sure, absolutely, you can do that, but if you're on a dedicated server or someone else's server, there's a good chance that you're not going to be able to pretty much utilize the whole double XP thing. So make sure that you try this out instead and tell me how you feel about it. Also, when you do decide to pick up the material on the ground, it may make this, I don't know, really large. Feel about it. Tell me how you feel about it. Also, not to mention, when you do pick up that material, it may possibly make a weird, weird pickup sound because you are picking up a crap ton of uh, stone and all that. And if it's uh, another material, it might just be wood. But either or, you will hear some strange, strange noises. We are now going to continue on and talk about the other XP method. What we need to do is head over towards the fast travel station here, and we're going to then travel somewhere else preferably near a community so that we can get a wanted level. You guys already know about the instant capture glitch, but what you may not know is that you can use this to grab a crap ton of XP, and I mean millions to two million. We then want to travel all the way towards the top right of the map, and we want to go towards the very top right where the sand is, but we first need to gain a wanted level, so there is someone here at the front. We'll pull the trigger, get the wanted level, Go to the very top right, and then when you spawn in, you should see the enemies nearby, or the police, or whatever you want to call them. Then you're going to then push forward, and we're going to head towards the tower. You do not need to hop on your mount, because to be fair here, the location is pretty close. But you should see the tower. We are going to then go inside, and we are going to utilize the capture method. When we go inside, you will need to make sure that one of the enemies, or at least three of them, are triggered by the boss. The best way to do this is make sure that you get the boss to activate its fire attack so that it hits all the enemies nearby. Then what should happen is once they're hit, they should be aggroed and then they'll hit the boss. The boss will then go to the corner and then from there, all you need to do is throw a sphere. If you take a look at the left side, you can tell that I have now received 2 million XP. If you happen to do the glitch and then you throw the sphere 
and it says that you know the boss cannot be captured then what you may need to do is pause the game exit out this way it will then push you out of the tower and you can then instantly go back in and try it again but remember you will need a wanted level because you do need those enemies inside of the tower but yeah once you have it done successfully you will receive 2 million xp the best thing to do is once you have captured the boss you can use the same exact method that I just showed you a few seconds ago there where you just pause the game, leave, and then join back. This way you'll be shot outside of the tower and you do not need to wait for the enemies to kill you. So what we're going to do now is move on and talk about the third glitch here. This next one is going to be quite interesting. I'm not too sure if you guys know about this, but recently Game Pass received a patch. A lot of you were asking whether or not this was supposed to fix glitches or if it was supposed to fix bugs, but to be fair here, it was supposed to fix one thing, and that's no clip mode. If you guys did not know, the Xbox Game Pass version actually included no clip. And yeah, that's the only thing that was patched. But for the sake of the video, I will let you know that this method right here still works. And if you do not know what I'm talking about, we are going to be talking about the Reset Decay Glitch, which you can tell right here, I have some items, specifically food items, and they're obviously decaying as time goes on. But what you guys may not know, if you did not know, you can actually just hit the sort button and it will completely refresh it. Also, side note, am I the only one that's sadistic and really bullies these fluffy pals here? I know they have a name, but for some reason it's not popping up in my head. But anyways, what I do is I try to push them off into a uh, lake or ocean of some sort. This way I can officially drown them. You know, I need to find a volcano and try to toss one in next. I think I'm actually finding too much fun in hurting pals. Yeah, uh, okay, anyways, we're gonna continue on and talk about something else within this video. If you did not know, they also did not patch the launch glitch, the skydive glitch, whichever word you prefer to call it. This right here is going to allow you to launch yourself straight up in the sky and it's easy. All we need to do is make sure that we do not use a pistol because that will down the enemy instantly, especially if they're weak. And what we're going to do over here is grab the bat and start meleeing the crap out of this one. And eventually, once its health has been lowered, you can then throw a sphere, hop on top of the sphere, and you will then be launched straight up in the sky. All I can say is that you should definitely enjoy these glitches while they last because I can guarantee you... There's already a lot of people complaining about the duplication glitch. They're like, ah, oh, it's ruining the economy or whatever excuse you want to throw in there. Come on, guys. It's a glitch. You're supposed to have fun. It's single player mainly. To me, it, that's how it is. But sure, you have dedicated servers and all that. So I don't know. You guys let me know how you feel about the duplication glitch or glitches being patched in general. I think this is one of those things that should probably stay in the game. Well, anyways, let's continue on and talk about the last and final thing here. This right here does not have to do with an exploit or glitch that you can do, but this right here is a glitch in the game naturally. And this is what I was talking about in the roadmap video, if you guys have seen that. What you can tell right here is when I placed down this chest, there was some material on the left side. Well, this is my third and fourth time, I think, fourth or third time building this chest. Because what my pals will end up doing is that they'll end up going to the chest and completely destroying it, leaving my loot out on the ground. And for some reason, they'll then decide to pick up that loot and take it all the way down there where my other chest is at. For some reason, they continuously do this and I have no clue as to why they are. I'm sure it's a huge bug, but at the same time, I'm like, come on guys, I, I like, I want to keep my loot here and not lose it. But this right here is a huge bug for me. I'm interested in what you all have experienced recently. This glitch is really ruining, not my experience, but I guess maybe my building experience. I'm over here trying to craft a freaking house and then I have half of my squad over here grabbing half of my items and moving it to a different location. It's just driving me bonkers. Anyways, let me know if you have experienced that bug specifically. Also, if you have any questions in today's video, make sure that you do ask right away. I will be responding within the first hour or two. Thank you guys so much for the support and I will see you all in the next video.